Hi, I'm Liza Schoenfein. I'm a food writer, recipe developer, and author of the blog Life, Death, and Dinner. Today, I'm going to show you how to make oven-roasted, panko-encrusted tilapia. So I have here two large tilapia fillets that I've cut in half. I've cut each one in half. Tilapia is a mild white fish and um, it's terrific. So what I'm going to do is just lightly salt it and put a little bit of pepper. I'm going to flip it over and do that to the other side. Touch more salt. And now I'm going to make a, um, I'm going to do a little egg and then my panko. Now here's the egg. First you dip your tilapia in the egg and then you coat it with the panko. Panko are Japanese breadcrumbs. They are very light. They're kind of coarse, but wonderful and light. They make a very crunchy exterior for the fish. So I just used one egg. I think that's plenty for the four pieces of fish we have here. Okay, so that's nicely beaten. And now, to my panko, I have a cup of panko, I'm adding a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, which doesn't want to come out, there we go, and about a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to combine that. So I have seasoned my fish, I've also seasoned my breadcrumbs. That way everything is very flavorful. Okay, so now what I do is I dip each filet in the egg and then right into the panko, give it a nice crunchy crust. So I have my beautifully coated uh, tilapia fillets. Okay, so I have my panko encrusted tilapia fillets and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them on a greased cookie sheet. I'm just going to space them out so that they're not too crowded on the cookie sheet. and I've preheated my oven to 450 degrees and these are going to cook without being turned over for about 15 minutes until they're nice and lightly golden. Alright, my tilapia is out of the oven. It baked for about 15 minutes on 450 and it looks beautiful. It is golden and crunchy looking. I'm going to plate it I've put it here with some avocado and a nice fresh salad of sprouts and sliced radishes. I wanted something a little bit fresh and astringent to kind of offset the um, crispy crunchiness of the fish. Um, these tilapia fillets could also be put into fish tacos. They would be excellent. So that's how you make oven roasted panko encrusted tilapia. I'm Liza Schoenfein, author of the blog Life, Death, and Dinner at home in Harlem, New York. Thanks so much for watching.